Okay, what we've done is uh, we brought everything back in the shop now that we've used the uh, chainsaw out there. Before I go any farther with the shape of the rock, what we're going to do is we're going to test fit the cat on there to make sure we don't take away any areas. We might have to build back up to where all the, um, the legs and feet go. So what we'll do is Mark's got the cat there and we're going to just position it on here. We're going to have this coming down at an angle. <clears throat> And you just get it to where the position that you want it on the habitat. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to push this right down into the rocks. Just like that. And you can see for the most part, each one of the feet are touching the rock surface with the exception of this one. And that's okay. We're, we're close enough at this point. So I can always build this up or put moss under it. Now that we've got this in the, in the uh, area of where it's gonna go, I'm gonna take a red felt pen and I'm gonna draw around the area a little bit bigger than the size of the, the foot to make sure when I finish smoothing out and, and, and shaping the rock that I don't take away the area um, where the foot goes down to. Otherwise, we're gonna have to rebuild that up. So this is just going to give me an indicator of where not to take any more off of. We're really flat out front on our rocks here. So um, I want to build a couple rocks and place it to, to bring some contour out front. So if we were to pivot, if Mark would pivot towards the camera, you can see how flat we are. And we don't want that. Is I made a couple rocks here. And when I attach these uh, uh, temporarily, I just take a piece of wire, 12, 14 gauge wire, and I bend it into a U shape. You could also take screws and screw it in. But I find this to be pretty effective. And I'm gonna build this out. I'm shove this wire in. just to hold it real temporarily. And then I've got a couple small rocks. You can see it's kind of flat on the top up here. And I just want to place some of these up here for right now to get a visual. I'm not done shaping them yet. And generally, I want to go in odd numbers so I, just, I decided to go with three. If I wanted more, I wouldn't go with four. I would go with five. It's uh, more aesthetically pleasing. Kind of arrange them in different areas. Kind of catch an idea. There we go. Now it's still missing one thing right now. We're still real flat along the ba back surface right here. So what I'd like to do so I'm going to take one more piece of foam here and I'm going to do a rough cut on a rock some direction here just like we've done on this and add that and I, and I think that that's going to fill us out to where we want to be. And then we can finish shaping these and then uh, we'll be done. So let's pull the cat off. As you can see we've got a nice cutout right here so I really don't want to put anything in the way of that. Um, I, like, I like the shape of what's going on in this area. The first thing I see is I want to take this corner off the rock here. It, it, it came to a point and I like the direction of it coming down, but this one was also coming down to a point and it gave me a, a little bit of a too perfect of a V right there. So that's why I took the point off so it wasn't almost uh, the reflection of this. Kind of using a little bit of both techniques I was talking about earlier. There we go. You can start seeing that it's starting to 
come to a little, this is a little too flat for me. Now I'm starting to get a look that I'm liking, but as Marks holds it there, I'm going to look below it. And that crevice that we created earlier, I want to go ahead and leave it. So I'm going to take a notch out of this. starting to like it but you can see we still got a flat edge going on there so we've just extended that out so I want to change the front end of this right now so I get rid of that illusion I'm gonna get rid of the flat, flat front there Now, as you can see, we're starting to get it, but I still have too much of a triangle shape, and that's what this other rock is doing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the top portion of that. Now, we can still see this part underneath here on the on the rock behind. I've gotten rid of the triangle shape so I don't have two similar looking rocks up front. I've gotten rid of the flat front end on this. I've got it contoured and etched out here. So I think I'm liking this. So now that I've got it to this point, what I'm going to do is we're going to start rounding the edges a little bit because I want more of a worn rock look. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a file. Start with one rock here and we'll show you what that's going to be like. And then we can go ahead and progress with the rest of them. I'm going to start rounding some of these sharper edges. Just to give it more of a worn look. It's not going to be round like a river rock, but it's not going to be real jagged either. Unless that's what you're wanting, which would be fine if that's what you're trying to accomplish. Just kind of rounding the edges. It's a little more worn look. Like I said earlier, I've got another piece in mind that I'm going to be matching this with. So on that particular piece, it's got a worn rock look to it. So I'm just kind of matching what I've already done there. You know, and when I first started doing this, what I did is I just collect rocks out in the woods. And I'd bring home different colors, different shapes, different types. And I'd be able to, I've got them out in front of my shop and it just looks nice out in front to have the different type of rocks. But if I'm interested in a certain style, sometimes I'll bring them in the shop and just start looking at it and then kind of recreating that. You know, it goes back to reference material. And I just use, I don't really use pictures, I use uh, real rocks except for when a client comes in and they were out of state or in a different country, they'll bring me pictures of the... Uh, the habitat and the surroundings and that really works well so asking for those types of pictures really will help you uh, recreate uh, the look that they had in the area where they harvested their animals.